Yo guys, what's up? Sleepio here. Today I wanted to show you the exotic sniper, the Nemesis. So I will talk about how to get the gun, then I will also tell you the talents of the gun and um, how I would personally play it. But let's start with the gun itself. So as you can see, um, with my build right here, full gray, no weapon damage, no nothing, it has 276k base damage. Um, in comparison, a Model 700, which has the highest base damage out of all the other non-exotic snipers, has 115.5k, uh, and that is the max roll you can get. So that is 160k less base damage. But that uh, Nemesis I have right here has 50k less base damage than the max. So that could be 50,000 more base damage, because my roll is pretty bad. So I would probably refarm that one and uh, get a better roll, because that roll, as I said, is really bad. So it has the highest base damage out of, I think, all the guns. It even has more base damage than the Specialization Sniper. Um, only the Grenade Launcher has more, but I mean, I mean that's I, I don't consider that a normal gun. So the Specialization Sniper, as you can see, has 235.2k, and yeah, the Nemesis beats that easily. Uh, it also has 50 RPM and a max size of 5, which is, which is alright. Then it has a reload time of 2.4 seconds with the sniper specialization though. And um, yeah, the crit range is 10 to 70 meters. That's that's also all right. So the talents now. The the main talent or the active talent on the gun is counter sniper. Shots fired deal uh, 0 to 100% weapon damage based on how long the trigger is held before releasing. The time to reach max weapon damage is reduced whenever a shot does not kill an enemy it hits. So when you zoom in, it is just a normal 12x scope. You can also change that to a 16x if you want, but I don't know, 12x is enough, I think. As I said earlier, that gun can charge up. So right now in the footage you see that there's orange lines charging up on the left and right side of the scope. If those orange lines are fully charged up, you will do the max damage, so 100% more weapon damage. However, you can also shoot before those lines are charged up, but then you obviously won't get the max damage out of it. So that is a really cool talent. The second active talent is called Nemesis. Aiming at an enemy marks them as your nemesis for 15 seconds, letting you see them through walls. Your shots gain 5% damage to your nemesis for each second they are marked, to a max of 50%. Let me demonstrate the nemesis talent real quick. So if I aim at an NPC, it actually takes a few seconds until he gets marked. I will show the exact time uh, on the screen right now, because obviously I can't tell right now how much it is exactly. And uh, the longer that NPC is marked, the more damage you will do. And the last talent, uh, the holster talent, is preparation. While holstered, gain plus 25% headshot damage when a scope with your current weapon. So I also like that one. It's pretty nice. I don't think it beats the shatterbox passive talent or, or holster talent. Because 20% rate of fire is definitely stronger than uh, 25 headshot damage for most of the guns. There's some guns, for example, snipers that will benefit from that one more. There is also a little trick with preparation that I will show you in the end of the video. It is actually pretty huge. So watch till the end if you wanna see that. So you will get the first part from uh, the title Basin Stronghold. First you have to pick up a key in there in a, in a two-story building and uh, then you have to open a room and get a certain sniper. To get the first part you have to deconstruct that sniper and then you will have it. The other three parts are from invaded stronghold bosses, the end bosses there, so from the capital building end boss, the district union area end boss, and also the Roosevelt Island end boss. I think the drop chance of those is 100%, and uh, the names are in capital building, the boss is called Prime, in the district union area the end boss is called Shorty, I think, and in Roosevelt Island it's called uh, Klutz. But maybe I'm mistaken Roosevelt Island and uh, District Union area now. I'm not quite sure. It uh, doesn't matter in what order you do the missions and get the parts. But they obviously have to be invaded for you to get the Black Tusk end bosses. After you got those four parts, you still need the blueprint for that gun. And you will get the blueprint from the Grand Washington Hotel, also uninvaded. The first boss, called Puck, will drop it. It's um, basically the, the third room, I think, in the mission, so... You just have to play the mission for one minute, then kill the sniper boss uh, Puck and you will get the blueprint for the gun. After that you just go to the White House again, go to the crafting table and you can craft it. And don't worry if you get a bad damage roll, it is not the end of the world, 
because you can just log out, log back in, and uh, then you can buy the Nemesis upgrade blueprint at the vendor in the White House. Now you can basically craft a Nemesis infinite times. You just need the required materials for that. So the normal materials and then also the exotic components, and they are a little bit harder to get. So now to the important part and why that gun is actually really, really good as a secondary. If we look at the holster talent again, preparation, while holster gain plus 25% headshot damage when scoped with your current weapon. What I understood when I first saw the talent is that you need a headshot scope, since that is the only scope that uh, forces you to actually scope in. But it actually also works with all the scopes that have the option to zoom in. So the only two scopes that I have right now, I don't know if there's more, I don't have every blueprint in the game yet, so the only two scopes I have is the ACOG 4x and the C79 3.4 times. You can just use either of those scopes, put them on your gun, and you don't even need to scope in to get the 25% extra headshot damage. So that is actually really huge, since you can also use those two scopes on most ARs uh, and I think on every LMG. You basically get 25% free headshot damage on ARs and LMGs. I'm not sure if that is actually better than the shatter box, but it is definitely more consistent since you will always have that headshot damage, but you will not always have the shatter box buff. So I don't know, you can decide for yourself, but I definitely wanted to include that as well, since I think that is the, the best part about the gun right now. Sure, it does a whole lot of damage, but I don't really like the charge up. I will probably still play it here and there, but yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of the charge up, so I probably use it as a secondary a lot more. And uh, that's it, that's my Nemesis review. Tomorrow I will have a PvE sniper build for you, but I already recorded that a few days ago, so it won't include a Nemesis. If you like my content and want to support me, then just drop a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in my next video. Bye!